This is You Suck at Cooking. I don't know what the name of the author is, but he has a YouTube channel called You Suck at Cooking. That's what I learned when I read this book. So it's an absurdly practical guide to sucking slightly less and making food. So it's divided into some basics, breakfast, sticks and snacks, sandwiches, veggies, meat. So um, I feel like this is mostly a book about it's, it's pretty funny. I would say it's not really a cookbook as such. It's more like for entertainment, but it does have some recipes. So things you might need, taste buds, a heat source, fire, the sun. So obviously you're not gonna cook with fire or the sun. I mean, you could cook with fire, not the sun. So it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of a funny book because this is a funny guy. And if you haven't seen his YouTube channel, you should probably check that out because then you'll know what this book is kind of gonna be like. You've got, actually useful stuff like how to use a knife um then you've got a whole section about the wang jangler which is actually just a spatula but yeah. um then you've got things that you actually need um yeah with kind of i'd say it's not very helpful in the sense that it kind of blubbers on about random stuff because it's being funny but you don't actually need to know that like air salt is the rarest salt of them all obviously we don't use that in cooking so then you've got things like chopping onions um cooking oil broth hot sauce okay so there's things about adjusting flavor burning things um the mental game i think it's funny but i'm not sure how helpful it is as if like someone that actually wants to cook stuff myself i'd say this isn't the most practical book um it gives you it, there's like a whole introduction section about breakfast, which is, you know, not very helpful. Again, you've got actual recipes in there, green eggs, pesto, you've got like, um, blueberry smoothies. Everything's very rustic, very uh, out there. Obviously, putting candles on a quiche. Yeah, that's weird. Um, so this is more of a funny book. It's not really... Um, too practical it's got dips and snacks so it has a whole bunch of maybe useful things chickpea and olive spread sweet potato wedges with dipping sauce um you've got then sandwiches there's a whole section about different kinds of sandwiches i think it's not very helpful obviously so then we've got things like actual nice flavors leaky bacon pocket um soups and salads so it's got salad dressings, three salad dressings. Um, yeah, um, I would say maybe if you don't, if you just want fast options to make something that tastes good, then this is a good book for you. Um, so we get to things like spicy peanut butter soup, and then we get to pan fried kale, um, toasted walnut and cauliflower soup. Veggies in the front is all about veggies, obviously. So we've got stuffed capsicum, zucchini, butter noodles. Um, there's like notes, but they're not really notes. They're more like his own musings. And you've got um, meat. So that's things like maple baked salmon, sausage and chickpea curry. I'd say these are very basic recipes. Um, <laughs> leaky olive chicken, which is kind of good if you don't actually know how flavors work together. Jalapeno, chicken, chicken breast strip loin with spinach and then things like spaghetti um and then we've got desserts like frozen coconut fudge type stuff um choco banana ice cream and then we've got mini ice cream sandwiches which is not really making anything yourself but you know blueberry brownies which is like a mug cake um chocolate cakey loaf type thing um, that actually looks alright. <laughs> so yeah, um, ice, icicles, as in actually ice, like that's kind of weird. Then you've got the index and that is it. So I think this